Welcome back, guys. We're going over tomorrow's workout for Monday the 27th. The strength will have 1A, 1B, followed by 2A, 2B. So two different elements, um, or two different supersets, if you will. Now 1A, we're going to start off by doing a close grip push-up. Now, with the close grip push-up, that doesn't necessarily mean we're doing a triangle push-up. That could just be your hands a little bit closer than shoulder width apart. That being said, if regular push-ups are hard enough, this can also be done from the knees, or you can also do a push-up to a target. So if you have a bench at home, or possibly just doing it to a desk, a couch, anything like that nature, it's going to elevate your, your torso a little bit, will make it a little easier. Just keep the same... Uh, the same concept, right? A little bit of a narrower grip. Now, for the push-up, we're going to be doing four total sets, anywhere between 10 to 20 total repetitions on the push-up. After you're done with the push-up, you're going to rest 30 seconds. Then 1B, or the super set of that, is going to be another four rounds of a lateral lunge. This can be done holding a weight, so a kettlebell or a dumbbell, overhead, or in a goblet position. Now, for this, you're going to want to have your feet Far out with your toes pointed forward, just like we've done before. You're gonna lean over to one side. As you're leaning, your hips should come back and the knee is going forward, ideally over the toe. Go as far down as you can. As you can. A lot of the people are gonna be limited by their flexibility within their, their legs, if you will. Um, so it's a good way to strengthen the upper part of the glute. Now for this exercise, we're gonna do anywhere between six to eight reps per side. All right, so that'll be per leg. Now again, 1A, 1B, that'll be four total rounds, resting 30 seconds after every exercise. Once you're done with that, 2A is going to be a single arm banded cross body row. It's actually a great exercise, it's going to be new, so if you're not, I would just, I would just off the bat recommend, make sure you watch the demo video so you have an idea of how to set up, but it's extremely simple. Grab your band, make sure you're sitting down on the floor, loop it over your foot, and then with the opposite arm, you're just going to grab the band, grab it so that when the arm is extended, there is no slack on the band, so there should be tension the whole range of motion. And then as you're pulling, you're just gonna squeeze the upper back, squeeze the bicep, and come back. Again, this one is gonna be a unilateral exercise, so it'll require you to do both sides. For that, we're gonna do anywhere between 20 to 30 total reps per side again. And that's gonna be superset with a ipsilateral plank. This is gonna be extremely difficult to hold. So last week we've been doing a contralateral plank, which is going to be an opposite arm and leg um, on ground contact, and then the opposite arm and leg off, to, off um, essentially holding a static hold. Ipsilateral plank, that just means same concept, one arm, one leg is going to be on the ground, but this time we should be holding the same side on the floor, and then my other two limbs are off to the side. It is extremely difficult. What I might recommend, another way to make this a little bit easier, not necessarily super easy, is just by dropping down on one knee and then one hand, almost like if you're holding the bottom of a bird dog. And then you can extend both arm and leg. Now, if that's also challenging, feel free to just kick the leg to a target. So maybe you're setting the toe on, a, on either a box, a couch, anything like that to kind of help keep you balanced and try to, again, focus on staying straight as you can, all right? Now for that ISO hold, we're gonna hold it for 20 seconds each side. So again, you would extend out like so for 20 seconds and then out like so for 20. After you've done each side, rest 30 seconds. That'll conclude the strength. Conditioning today is gonna be four time of 15, 12, nine, and then back up 12, 15. So a little bit of a, of a different complex, if you will. Just a couplet, dumbbell hand clean and press. This is gonna to be total reps um, followed by goblet squats, all right? So on the hand clean and press, remember it's almost like a kettlebell swing, big hip hinge, keep the kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever you're doing, closer to the hip, don't let it go super far down by the knee, keep it up high and then you're using your hips to pop it up. As Soon as you catch it on the shoulder, try to receive it in, a, in the bottom of your push press position. So you're coming down, receiving it with bent knees, and then using your legs to drive the weight directly overhead, especially because we just did a lot of push-ups prior to the conditioning to try to save the shoulders. Then obviously on the goblet squats, if you can, I would recommend pacing it so that you can go unbroken for all of these total reps, right? Um, and pretty much that'll conclude the conditioning. The warm-up for today, what we recommend is just two rounds, pretty simple, going from 30 jumping jacks, 20 mountain climbers, and then finishing off with 10 up-downs. Go through the warm-up two times, after that you're ready to start off the strength, and then finishing off with the conditioning. All in all, it should take you right around 30 to 45 minutes of work, that is including with the warm-up. Guys, it is Sunday night, I hope you enjoy the workout tomorrow. 
If you are not watching the Last Dance, the Jordan documentary, please stop what you're doing, go to your TV, watch the Last Dance, and then shoot me a text, let me know what you think. Enjoy.